Welcome to Faux Jacket. We're diving into the fascinating process of how wool is made. If you've ever wondered how those cozy wool sweaters or warm blankets come to life, this video will give you all the answers. From the shearing of sheep to the final fabric, we'll cover each step in detail. What is wool? Before we get into the process, let's quickly discuss what wool actually is. Wool is a natural fiber obtained from the fleece of sheep and some other animals, like goats, alpacas, and llamas. It's known for its warmth, durability, and moisture-wicking properties, making it a popular choice for clothing and home textiles. The Shearing Process The journey of wool starts with shearing. Shearing is the process of cutting off the fleece from a sheep's body, similar to getting a haircut. This is typically done once a year, usually in the spring. Skilled shearers ensure that the sheep are handled gently, and the fleece is removed in one big piece, known as a fleece or clip. Cleaning and Sorting Once the fleece is removed, it needs to be cleaned. Wool well, straight off the sheep is greasy and contains dirt, sweat, and plant matter. This process, called scouring, involves washing the wool with water and detergents to remove the grease and impurities. After cleaning, the wool is sorted based on the quality, length, and color of the fibers. Carding the wool The next step is carding. Carding is the process of disentangling and aligning the wool fibers. This makes it easier to spin the fibers into yarn. During carding, the wool is passed through rollers covered with tiny teeth, which help to separate and straighten the fibers, turning them into a fluffy, soft material called roving. Spinning the yarn. The roving is then spun into yarn. This is where the fibers are twisted together to create a continuous thread. Spinning machines draw out the roving and twist it to give the yarn its strength. The tighter the twist, the stronger and smoother the yarn will be. Dyeing the wool Wool can be dyed at various stages in the production process. Some manufacturers dye the wool fibers before they are spun, while others dye the yarn or the final fabric. Wool takes dyes exceptionally well which is why it's easy to find it in a wide variety of colors. Weaving or knitting the fabric Once the wool is spun into yarn, it's ready to be made into fabric. The yarn can either be woven or knitted, depending on the type of product being created. Woven wool fabrics are typically used for suits, coats, and upholstery, while knitted wool is often used for sweaters, scarves, and hats. Finishing processes. After weaving or knitting, the fabric may go through various finishing processes. This can include fulling, which shrinks and thickens the fabric, or brushing, which gives the wool a softer, fluffier feel. These finishing touches help enhance the texture, look, and durability of the final product. The versatility of wool products. From everyday clothing to high-performance outdoor gear, wool's versatility makes it suitable for a range of products. Wool is naturally breathable, moisture-wicking, and insulating, which is why it's often used for winter wear, blankets, carpets, and even insulation materials. And there you have it. From shearing to the final product, that's how wool is made. This natural, sustainable material has been used for centuries, and its popularity continues to this day because of its many amazing properties. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching.